Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's J Dot the Jammer. We out here with the Google Pixel six months later. Does it still make sense to pick up this phone right now, especially in anticipation of the Google Pixel XL2 and Google Pixel 2? Um, later this year. Well, we're gonna find out right now. I mean, we're gonna start off with the you know fingerprint sensor because if you can't unlock the phone, then you're already off to a bad start. So we're gonna get the mirror because obviously fingerprint sensors on the back. Three, two, one, blam. There you go. Let's lock that off again. Three, two, one, blam. Let's try a different finger as well. Calm, calm. It seems to be working quite quickly. Three, two, one. There we go. And three, two, one. So fingerprint sensor has always been flawless for me on this phone. Um, I think Google did really well there. Obviously not as fast as the OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T, but um, yeah, it's still quite decent and a lot faster than any other phone I've tried. Camera on this phone is really good. I can't really fault it, but then again, I don't think it stands out that much from any other camera. Um, and that's for still shots anyway. I mean, for starters, it opens the camera from standby really quickly. With just a double tap of the power button, you're there. There you go. Look at, guys, did you see that? Wow. Did you? Nah, I don't think you guys saw how quick that was. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's a bit awkward because, like, okay, let me just make sure the camera's closed. Let's make sure, you know, it's not in memory. We can't be cheating. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow. You're there, guys. You're there. You're already taking pictures. Um, video camera is really good as well. I really do like the fact that it's got 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second. Um, you know, so you can get a lot smoother video with 60 frames per second. This video that I'm shooting right now is at 60 frames per second. Um, and yeah, it. I love 60 frames per second. So um, a lot of people ignore it. A lot of people don't care. I do care. Let me know if you care in the comment section below. Apart from that, there's not much settings going on in this Google stock, um, you know, camera app. I mean, you've got slow motion, panorama, photosphere, lens blur, settings. Um, in slow motion, I think you've got two different frame rates to mess with as well. You've got 240 and you've got 120. I believe that at 720p. Um, so that's quite decent, but yeah, not that much you know, photo settings at the moment. Um, It can be a good thing and a bad thing. It's good as a point and shoot, obviously. If I see something going by, I just, you know, click into the camera and I take a quick picture of it, even from standby. Um, With a lot of other phones like LG, Samsung, Sony, there's a lot of other, you know, settings for the camera and you might not want to do that. You might just want to get in and take a picture. So the camera's all good for me. It's nice and simple and it's accessible. Um, Performance... Obviously, as you can see, it launches the camera quickly. It unlocks quickly. I scroll through all my, you know, menus quickly. Um, I mean, let's go into Instagram. <laughs> I mean, Instagram's working quite quickly there as well. See what I mean? I mean, oh, yo, follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me, guys. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, Instagram's real quick. Twitter's real quick. I mean, I know these aren't that demanding apps, but they all work perfectly. And, you know, it's the fact that you can just multitask between them. There we go. And, you know, Twitter and Instagram right there. Um, let's let's pop open another few apps. Um, let me just try and pop open one that is not going to jeopardize my security. Um, <laughs> let's go with Chrome. Um, oh, okay, now you can see what I'm buying. Everywhere is jeopardizing security. But um, yeah, you can do that, and you can do a uh, multitask by. I think you just do you hold this. There we go, and then you can you know choose an app to multitask with. So you got Twitter going down there, and you got um. You know, you've got your Internet Explorer going on up there. Um, this phone is too small to do that, really. But, you know, you can do it if you need to because you've got that processing power from that Snapdragon 821 and you've got that for gigabytes. Um, yeah, apart from performance, design. Um, I I never really liked the design of the Pixel when I first saw it. This, I mean, it's different, but it doesn't really scream, you know, Yo, this phone is the Google Pixel. Sometimes I'm on the train and I'm like, yo, has that person got a Pixel? Have they just got a normal phone? It kind of blends in with each and every other phone out there. Um, the blue one does look very sexy. That would be the one I would really want to get. But I wasn't really trying to play full price on this phone in the first place. So, um, yeah, design is, is mediocre. It's what you'd expect from a smartphone. 
But um, when, you know, guys like Samsung Galaxy 8 come out, um, it, it gets, it's getting tense now. You know, there's a bit of bezel here. It's not a big bezel, but when there are phones without any bezel, yo, you you got to catch up. <laughs> um, apart from that, signal's quite good, especially here in South London. Um, I don't even know if they give people South London signal, but, <laughs> but yeah, the signal's quite decent. Bluetooth's cool. Um, Wi-Fi is cool. You know, I'm not getting any unexpected drops, even though my Wi-Fi is crap. Um, and obviously, 3G, 4G is also cool as well, no matter what area I go into. Um, all over South London and, you know, especially when you're driving up the M1 in Countryside Road, keeps that GPS and 4G booming battery. Um, I'm not too sure, guys. I'm not too sure. The first day that I had the phone when obviously I didn't have all my apps, um, I think I got about four hours and a half, nearly five hours on screen. Um, nowadays, I'm getting about four hours, maybe... Sometimes three hours, 30, four hours, no, nah, four hours, I would say, um, which is not bad. I suppose that's enough to get you through the full day if you don't use it heavily. But if you're using it heavily, have sync on all the time, um, you're taking pictures with that big camera as well, you're not going to get much battery life out of that. But yeah, apart from that, it is a really good phone. Um, you know, a really good camera, got flash and everything, obviously. Um I don't know why I mentioned that it's got flash, because every phone does, but, you know, there you go. Flash there. <laughs> got your quick settings there and everything. I like the Android 7.1 thing going on right here, right now. Um, and, yeah, the performance is just decent. I mean, I might as well jump into a game. I've already been recording for seven minutes. Um, let's, see, let's see what goes on here. There we go. I think I might just do this, just to show you the performance. The review's done, guys. Review is done. Um, I'm just going to play this for now. There we go. Ha! There we go. The review's done. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below and subscribe. Ah! Ah! Go again. Go again. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. And if you have, I will catch you in the next one. GG Animals and Ninja. There we go. Hey! 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 There we go. Ah, oh, my days. Okay, I don't like this game anymore. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you next one. Jay and Jamal out.